what do Krishan, Coding Phase, Brad Traversy, Josh Fluke, Lewis Rossman, and many others in the tech YouTube world have in common besides the obvious? Hmm. We're going to talk about it today, and the video starts right now. What's up, everybody? It's Real Tough Candy back online with you guys today for a topic that admittedly is not very good fodder for YouTube. This is an entertainment platform. Sometimes we learn something. A lot of times we learn something. But let's be honest, we're always being distracted by something shiny and fun. Going back to all those awesome YouTubers, what do they have in common besides the obvious? They had to fight to get here. They had to fight to become developers. They had to fight to get to the point where they are in their lives today. And the question I got the other day was from someone in my Discord, how do you, f how do you learn all this stuff? How do you balance your coding studies with real life stuff? Depression, anxiety, being broke, family issues. The troubles that these prominent developers have faced are not the front and center of their YouTube channel. Um, but sometimes they do address these issues because they're part of their real lives. These are real people. And it's, sometimes it's easy to forget that the person behind the camera were real people too. And we have some pretty big problems. Taking, for example, coding phase, how he lost his sister at a young age, uh, how he didn't have a bedroom until he was a teenager. He slept on the couch in his mom's apartment in the Bronx while she was working. I think she was a cab driver. Uh, Chris Sean lived in his car, struggles with depression. Brad Traversy had some struggles with drugs and most of his friends that he knew from back in the day are six feet under. Most of his friends are dead. And you can keep going down the list. Louis Rossman, uh, single parent home raised by his mom who was on welfare in New York. Uh, Josh Fluke, very transparent about some of his issues he's had over his life. It takes so much courage to step in front of a camera and hit record and share a personal story like that and publish it with the world. Because these guys know there's haters. These guys know there's people gonna judge them for being broke, being depressed, being anxious. Even last month on the open mic, uh, there was a guest named Cam who talked about his troubles. He had a very sick dad in the hospital for a long time. And he was thinking, you know, what's the point? And he was fighting with himself. You know, maybe I should just give up the dream, but he didn't, he didn't. And fortunately his dad lived, uh, but it's, it was a very troubling time for him. All of these developers had the perseverance, they had the courage to keep doing it because one of the easiest things to do and most comforting, and I understand this completely, is to just stay where you are. The status quo is comforting. And sometimes it feels like just pushing one more day is just gonna kill you. It's just too much. And it's just for your own sanity, for your own stress levels, just to stay where you are. Stay with that nine to five that you hate. Stay in the career that you hate because even though you hate it, at least it's comfortable. At least you know what to expect. Uh, when you're learning this stuff and dealing with, and can I interrupt here and say that there is a very vicious cycle of poverty, depression, and anxiety, and they feed on each other in a disgusting way. It's an ecosystem. You get depressed, you don't wanna to go to work, you don't wanna get up, so you're broke. And then you get anxious because you can't pay your rent. You feel anxious and feel anxious enough every day, chronic anxiety, you start feeling depressed. And you don't see the point, you don't see the behoovement in bettering yourself because it's just gonna, you have this mentality of, oh, it's just going to end me back on the base level, which is broke, depressed, and anxious anyway. So it's very easy. And once you're broke, you get depressed and anxious. So every one of those leads to another one. And it's very hard to break out of that. And pushing for a new career is also can also be anxiety inducing because this stuff's hard. Yeah, okay, you got through the HTML and you're feeling good. So that's like a win. But then you get to like the JavaScript stuff or whatever it is you're having troubles with and you're like, is this even worth it? Well, guess what? It is worth it. Look at all these people who have pressed through and pressed on. It is difficult, but once you do it, your world is going to change and you're not gonna regret it. The worst thing you can do is to stay quit. It's okay to quit, but don't stay quit because if you stay quit, you're never gonna see the potential of what this career can do for you. And let me tell you, once you get in, once you get inside, 
you're going to be having opportunities thrown at you left and right. I've not been in this career field for very long, only a few years, uh, but every week some new opportunity pops up and I'm creating my own opportunities. People are throwing opportunities at me. I'm tripping over them. I'm tripping over them every time I take a step. And that's because I persevere through my own problems too. Guys, I'm not immune to this. I just don't have the courage of coding phase, traversy, and all these other guys, Christian, et cetera, to uh, share the in detail um, some things that I've struggled with my entire life. But I want you to know that you're absolutely not alone. And that is something that is a symptom of depression, anxiety, being broke, family issues, uh, spousal issues, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever issues, is that you feel alone. You could be sitting at a dinner table with people you love, a crowd of people that you love, a family of people that you love, and feel a hundred miles away from anything going on at that dinner table. It's very isolating and you feel very alone when you're going through these struggles. But you need to know that other people before have had these same problems that you're having and the thing that they kept with them is that perseverance. Coding phase didn't give up. Krishan didn't give up. Brad didn't give up. Josh, Lewis, insert developer, insert techie here. They didn't give up. And now look, being successful does not get rid of depression. Being successful and having a job you love might not even get rid of your anxiety. Oftentimes it doesn't, but at least you'll be in a career field where there are unlimited opportunities and that can change so many things for you. Maybe you can't afford counseling right now. Maybe you can't afford therapy or antidepressants because you're uninsured. Well, guess what? Once you get a job in tech, that's not an issue. This is a lucrative career field. Anybody telling you that there aren't any developer jobs is sniffing rubber cement. I swear, I swear it. I occasionally have people like, there aren't any more software jobs. They're all being taken by automation. Get, just stop. Just stop with the fear mongering. That's so untrue. This is the hottest career field right now. Software development, specifically web development because everything's going to the web. There's so much waiting for you and there's elbow room once you get to that table. And the reason I'm not afraid to talk about it, about all these jobs and all these opportunities is because I have more opportunities than I can handle. My arms can only carry so much when people are throwing all these opportunities at me and I'm creating them myself and I can guarantee you that all the people I mentioned today also have that experience they cannot if, if they could stay up 24 hours a day seven days a week and work they would be busy all those hours I can guarantee you and then some if there were 5,000 hours in a day they'd probably still be busy there's no shortage here and there's so much room for you I don't know how else I can say it this career field needs you it needs people who care about code. It needs people who care about the people who use these applications. It needs you to help create a better web and uh, better desktop software, better Android apps, whatever. I wanna give a shout out to the people I mentioned today because their perseverance inspires so many others. And as I mentioned earlier, it's never easy talking about that stuff, okay? No one wants to share how they made dumb decisions. No one wants to share how they were living in their car or bare broke or grew up on welfare or didn't have a bedroom. No one's happy to share that stuff. It sucks, but they shared it to show you guys, number one, that you're not alone, and number two, that they made it. They made it out. And if they can do it, you can do it too. That's why they shared it too. They didn't share it to brag about it. They didn't share, they didn't share being homeless to brag about it. They didn't share being on drugs to brag about it. They didn't share struggling with depression and anxiety and being broke to brag about it. They shared it to testify that they made it out and so can you. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.